Have you ever wondered why nobody's really talking about this jet, even though it's already flying? That's not by accident. The Pentagon's not just keeping cameras away for fun. They're locking things down because if you knew even half of what this thing can do, you'd start asking the kind of questions that get noticed. Here's a few things they won't say out loud. It can hit targets from over 560 miles away without ever crossing into enemy airspace. It doesn't need a pilot. It thinks, flies, and strikes on its own. And the skin. It's not just stealthy. It adapts to the environment, like it's alive. So ask yourself, why would the U.S. sink over $200 billion into a platform nobody's even supposed to see? Because this isn't just a weapon. It's insurance for a war we pray never happens. And here's the kicker. It's already been flown. Let's be real. You felt it, too. The news doesn't quite add up. Same headlines. Same aircraft, same old stats, but your gut tells you something's being left out, like a shadow slipping between the lines. Something new, and whatever it is, it's not meant for the public. Because when real advantage shows up, it doesn't get put on display. It gets buried, and once you hear the name, you'll start to notice it. The strange gaps in briefings, the silence where there should be explanations. Those missing minutes in radar logs. That's not coincidence. It's not a conspiracy. It's a new chapter, one nobody's reading out loud yet. Now think back to what we had before. The B-52? It's been a workhorse for decades. Massive, powerful, but lit up like a Christmas tree on radar. The B-1B? Fast, fiery, built for speed, but way too loud for modern war. The B-2? A stealth icon in its time, but demanding when it comes to maintenance and logistics. And now comes the Raider. Not an upgrade. Not an air. A whole different beast. You don't see it. Not because of smooth edges, but because its skin is alive. Adaptive. Nanostructures and metamaterials absorb, redirect, and erase its presence. The radar sees sky. And the sky says nothing. And it flies with or without a pilot. Its onboard AI is scanning, thinking, reacting, before command even finishes a sentence. It picks the target, the timing, the exit. Not guesswork, pure calculation. And here's the part no one's really talking about. The Raider isn't just invisible, it's a deceiver. The enemy sees multiple targets, confusion sets in, and by the time they realize what's happening, the real Raider has already completed its mission and vanished. No, this isn't a cheap project, but one raider can replace three legacy bombers. Fewer boots in the air, lower risk, a smaller footprint, and a much greater chance that war never even starts. Because when your adversary knows a strike could hit without a trace, they think twice before pulling the trigger. That's what the next level of stealth looks like. Most modern stealth jets rely on shape, angled surfaces that deflect radar waves away. But the B-21 took it further. Its surface is alive, engineered to respond, adapt, and disappear. Now, imagine the skin of a jet isn't just a shell. It's part of the defense system. The B-21's outer layer is made of nanostructured materials, microscopic components, dozens of times thinner than a human hair. This structure allows radar waves to pass through or bend around the aircraft, as if it doesn't exist at all. It's not invisibility. It's total signal distortion. To a radar operator, it's like staring into a patch of clear sky. But that's just the beginning. Beneath the surface are metamaterials, engineered composites with physics-defying properties. They can bend electromagnetic waves to the side, downward, even reflect them back to their origin like a mirror. The radar only sees what it's allowed to see. The B-21 chooses what picture the enemy gets. And that's where the real magic begins. An electronic matrix in the sky. The radar can create multiple false targets on enemy radar screens, making it appear as if an entire squadron is flying overhead. Meanwhile, the real bomber is already passing over the objective. This goes beyond stealth. 
It's disorientation. Radars report false positions, air defense systems lock onto ghosts, and while enemy operators scramble to make sense of the chaos, the raider completes its mission and vanishes. So here's the real question. What's an advantage like that worth? Yes, the raider costs over $600 million, but that number only makes sense in context. If you look at it as just another bomber, sure, it's expensive. But if you see it for what it truly is, a platform capable of replacing multiple aircraft at once, then the math checks out. One B-21 can do the job of three legacy bombers, the B-52, the B-1B, and in many cases, even the B-2. Fewer jets mean fewer crew members, fewer maintenance hours, fewer refueling operations, and far less risk to human life. And it's not just about the Raider's shape or engines. Its weapons play a massive role, too. At the heart of the B-21 is the J-A-S-S-M-E-R, high-precision, long-range cruise missiles capable of striking targets from up to 560 miles away. That's far enough to stay completely outside enemy airspace. The Raider can fly beyond the reach of air defenses, remain invisible, and still eliminate high-value targets from a distance that used to be impossible. But that's only the beginning. The future holds hypersonic missiles. Traveling faster than Mach 5, they move too fast for today's air defense systems to intercept. And the Raider is already being built with that future in mind. Its internal bays are fully modular. That means the aircraft can be reconfigured for any mission. Today, it might carry air-to-ground missiles. Tomorrow, reconnaissance drones. The next day, electronic warfare systems. This isn't a one-size-fits-all loadout. It's a mission-adaptive arsenal, built to do exactly what's needed, when it's needed. In the end, the Raider isn't just an expensive aircraft. It's a precision, low-profile, next-gen tool that can execute complex missions on its own, fast, silent, and without casualties. So, when you hear $600 million, don't think about the price. Think about what true strategic advantage is worth when it really counts. The B-21 Raider wasn't built for air shows. It was built to get the job done and vanish before anyone even realizes it was there. At its core are brand new Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines that give it ultra-long-range capabilities with a minimal thermal signature and no need for constant refueling. A single Raider can cover over 5,600 miles in one mission. That's enough to reach nearly any high-value target on Earth without putting a crew at unnecessary risk or depending on a complicated support chain. For comparison, the B-2 Spirit has a range of about 6,800 miles, but even it required aerial refueling during real combat missions, especially when flying out of the U.S. or from bases far from the battlefield. The B-52 and B-1B technically have even greater range on paper, but under full combat load and high-speed conditions, they almost always rely on aerial tankers. That creates a major vulnerability. Tankers become targets, and mission planning becomes more complex and risky. The B-21 is engineered to minimize the need for refueling, even under demanding scenarios. That means less logistical burden, lower operational risk, and far more autonomy when conducting deep penetration missions. The Raider can launch from the continental United States, strike a target on the other side of the planet, and make it back on its own. And it can do all of this quietly. Its engines are buried deep within the fuselage, drastically reducing its heat signature. So much so that on infrared sensors, it appears more like a faint, warm silhouette than a jet. Its body? No vertical stabilizers. No angles for radar to catch. Just a seamless, curved surface that doesn't just absorb radar waves, it bends them back into the environment, as if the aircraft simply isn't there. The B-2 followed a similar philosophy but the B-21 takes it further with a lighter, stronger, and cheaper to maintain shell. The reason? A new class of metamaterials with nanostructured properties. These materials can adapt their response to electromagnetic waves depending on conditions, air pressure, temperature, even humidity. Think of it like a thermal chameleon, not for color, but for invisibility. Another breakthrough is the modular architecture. 
every major system on the Raider is built with swappable modules, components that can be upgraded independently without replacing the whole platform. Think of it like owning a smartphone where not just the battery, but the processor, the camera, and the screen can all be swapped out individually. No previous bomber has had this kind of flexibility. The B-52 has been flying for over 70 years, but it's still using the same basic airframe. The B-1B can't be modernized at all. Its design is simply outdated. But the Raider? It's built to evolve. New missiles, sensors, communication systems, even tactics we haven't invented yet, can all be integrated as the battlefield changes. And then there's the AI. It's not just a feature. It's built into the decision-making core. The B-21 can assess threats in real time, select and prioritize targets, reroute its path, avoid danger, and even complete a mission on its own if communication is lost. The B-2 still relies heavily on its pilot. The B-52? It's entirely analog, frozen in time. But the Raider? Imagine flying with a sniper co-pilot who never gets tired, never misses, and processes more data in seconds than a human could in hours. To put it simply, if the B-52 is a reliable 1950s pickup truck, the B-1B is a muscular 1980s race car, and the B-2 is a luxury stealth cruiser, then the B-21 Raider is a Tesla that can fly, dodge, and fight on its own. No driver, nearly no signature.